and more, and there's just fucking hundreds of them now. They're phenomenal in locations where they work, but they can't work everywhere, and the problem is you have to store the energy, which means that you need batteries, and batteries just aren't quite there yet, and they are also polluting and expensive to make. The rare earth magnets that are used in these giant windmills, you should know, come from China. And they come from these pits, these rare earth mineral pits, where they mine it and then they dump all the shit out in this giant pond, which becomes radioactive. It just so happens the byproduct's radioactive. So, yes, windmills cause radioactive pits. And that sucks. But we have to figure out maybe how to, you know, find a way around that. Uh, the problem with solar is very similar. It's very co costly to manufacture, very polluting to manufacture. And both of these products have to be transported and have to be replaced because they break down. So, what do we do? I don't know. I'd like to go into the solution of nuclear power because as a short-term solution, I've always been a proponent of safe nuclear. But since every time I bring it up, I can't seem to explain to people that, you know, molten salt reactors or thorium reactors, you know, could actually be improved to the point where there's no such thing as a meltdown, which they've already shown they can do that. Most people are just don't even know what you're talking about when you say that there can be clean nuclear energy because there's always a byproduct. But a lot of people should know that there are reactors that can utilize some of the already used fuel rods that are just sitting in storage and break them down further into less radioactive components in the same way that they were used originally and that the reactors, the type of reactors that we use for our nuclear power the only reason we chose those type over uh, safer alternatives was because we can use the same type of fuel that we use in nuclear weapons and we were in an arms race and so historically we've done a hell of a lot of damage with radiation too and so that should definitely be taken into accord we might destroy ourselves completely but we will adapt animals will adapt if there ever is a giant nuclear war forbid Sure hope not. Um, you know, uh, the, the earth will recover. And unfortunately, I don't think that, uh, well, I, I'm hoping that never happens. And I'm hoping that we actually have some utopia in the future. But I don't know how that's going to happen. I can't see it. I can't picture it. I'd really like to, but it seems that human nature is counterintuitive to what a person like me thinks we should be. What I think a human being should do out of respect for one another. When the almighty dollar is your only God, when you think that uh, uh, the earth is here to serve you, then you really miss the idea that we are all in our environment, in the same environment. And um, so I'd like people to realize that it's time to stop using the bullshit about how global warming isn't real. You know, the few people who want to, you know, say, oh, well, it's biased to sell green energy. Um, come on, you know, get over it. And for the folks who always quote, you know, some politicians who they say they want to stop cows from farting. I remember that one, you know, or stop people from driving cars. Look, it's just a noble idea. I think we all realize that's never going to happen and that we're never going to stop driving. So... Uh, at least not for the time being, not in time. I shouldn't say never, but we need to find better alternatives. We can't all drive electric cars. If you don't know this already, there's a subway in Los Angeles, but it was killed by the automobile industry because they wanted to build highways across the U.S. and make sure everybody drove. So the car companies went in and bought the subway in L.A. and then buried it. Look it up. It's true. They didn't want to kill the electric car. They wanted to kill the electric street car. Um, it's always been about competition, and this is why maybe I'm so cynical about it. Human nature shows that we're greedy, we're arrogant, and we're jerks to one another. So I hope that changes. But I gotta go now. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening.